In this video, I'm going to show you how to make silicone molds for soft plastic fishing lures. To make the mold, you're going to need silicone one asterisk. This silicone has worked every time I've tried it. However, silicone two and DAP have been unsuccessful. Okay, you're also going to need some super glue, a caulking gun, a flat surface to be your cast, a bucket with water, some dish soap, and some old soft plastic fishing lures. The method I'm about to show you works best for lures with a flat surface. Step one is to glue your baits to the surface you are using. There's the first one done. The baits are glued on as you see. Unfortunately, the super glue did not stick for these worms, so I placed a series of staples into the cardboard and pushed the worms onto them. Now add some dish soap to your water. All right, now I'm gonna get some of the, the sudsy water and put it in the mold and over the worms. Okay, and then I'm going to shoot about five shots of silicone into the water. Three, four, see how one more looks. All right, shoot into the water, put that down and then start to turn it into a ball. The reason you do this is because silicone is very sticky and the soap and water protect your hand from the silicone sticking to it. And also kneading the silicone into a ball allows it to cure from the inside out instead of just on the outside where it is exposed to the air. After rolling the silicone into a ball for about a minute, Smush the silicone over the worms in your cast. It's been about five minutes and the mold is already beginning to dry. I didn't have enough to fill the whole container, but that's okay as long as I filled evenly around the edges of the worm to capture the details. Okay, it's been about half an hour and I've taken the worms out of both molds. There we go. All right, guys, the molds are ready. So I'm going to chop up some old worms and melt them in a Pyrex dish. You need to have good airflow when you're going to melt plastic because the fumes that come off it are not healthy to breathe. So I have a fan and I'm in the garage with all the doors open. Also, I'm going to wear a respirator. I recommend heating your plastic in small intervals so you do not burn it. As you can see, the plastic is starting to melt. I like to use a chopstick or a stir stick to mix up the plastic and you know it's ready when the plastic is liquid. There it is. That looks just about done. Yeah. So it's it's all liquid now. And you want to stir it enough to get those bubbles out. And then we're almost ready to pour. Alrighty. Let's try it out. Overdid it a little bit there. Alright, 
Hey. Right. There's three. All right, so once your baits have dried, just pull up one of the edges, pull them out carefully so to not stretch them, and then put them in water to let them cool off a bit. And then leave them there for a couple minutes just so they harden up. There we go. Here are the final products. I did some in the June bug color and some in a green a green pumpkin color. They all look awesome.